We're going to solve this equation by completing the square. So we got uh, x squared plus 5x minus 2 equal to 0. Step 1. Divide everything by the number in front of x squared. Well, there's an A number there. Step 2. Take your number, your constant term, to the right side. So I got x squared plus 5x, and I'll take the negative 2 to the right side, and it becomes a positive 2. Step 3. Take the number before your x, sign included, which in this case is 5. You multiply it times a half, and you square it. It's always times a half, it's always squared. Well, 5 times a half is 5 halves, and 5 halves squared gives us 25 over 4. And I want to add that to both sides. So I got x squared plus 5x plus 25 over 4 is equal to 2 plus 25 over 4. Now this is a mixed number. We can take the 2 out in front, multiply it times the 4. 2 times 4 is 8. And add that 8 to 25. And that gives us 33. So we get 33 over 4. Now if you stink at fractions, assuming you're not a nursing major, they need to know how to do fractions by hand, you can use a TI3, TI4 uh, to very quickly do the fraction for you. I'm in graph mode right now, so I'll go ahead and do a second mode to exit out. And uh, we'll type in 2 plus 25 divided by 4. So 2 plus 25 divided by 4, press enter, and we get a decimal. To change any decimal to fraction on your calculator, you press math, enter, enter. And you see you got 33 over 4. So we're going to add that to, uh, or I'm sorry, <laughs> we already added that to both sides. I'll wake up here eventually. Step 4, back to the left side. I'm watching uh, the Terminator at the same time I'm doing these, so, which is bad. So step 4, back to the left side. Now remember the little trick to this. Whatever number is in your parentheses right for a square, sign included, is always what goes right here. So there really is no factoring on that. Step 5. Use the square root property to solve for x. If square root property says you've got something squared equal to something else, you drop your squared, so I've got x plus 5 halves, and then you put a plus or minus square root around the other side. So we got x plus 5 halves equals plus or minus. Now um, we can't have a fraction inside of a radical, but we got a property. It says that if you got the square root or any radical, but if you got a square root of a fraction, you can split it up, put a square root on top, and square root on the bottom. Well, that still doesn't help us because we can't have square roots or any radicals in the denominator. But this one works out really nice because square root of 4 gives you 2. Now I'm solving for x, so I'm going to take the 5 halves over and it becomes a negative 5 halves. Typically simplified form means you get a single fraction assuming you don't have an imaginary number. And this one's really nice because they already both have the same denominator. So this becomes negative 5 plus or minus square root of 33 over 2 as our answer.